everyone is sharp from sharp's fascination and we are back after i seam ripped the flubu <laughs> and i know here in a little while i will have to spin another bobbin so i'll be spinning the thread um it's not like spinning the yarn though <laughs> i ran out of yarn uh, but I'm not mad at that. You know why? Oh my gosh, my uh, package from the UK is at my box, right? Um, so I'm excited for this. I am excited most for this. Yeah, so um, anyway, <laughs> I was like double checking, making sure that this is going to be where it should be, right? Then I decided to move you guys over here. And I'm sorry, I have to have my heater on, so if that bothers you, I apologize. You guys are like, wait, it's hot outside. Well, apparently not with SpaceX. You know, tell me where, where in the heck do, like, they are making this whole thing so freaking Hollywood. Right? They commercialized it. And what really gets me is I want you guys to go check out NASA later. NASA.gov or NASA.org to watch that. Or it's live right now. Um, by the time I upload this. Because I don't see what bringing in Hollywood's people has anything to do with anything. Plus, if they were so darn worried about fake COVID, why would they have the astronauts get out? Of the vehicles driving them. Tell me where that makes sense. Not wearing a mask. They're getting out. Da da da. Of the Teslas that are driving them to the launch pad. Right? But if this is supposed to be such a pandemic, which it's not, then why weren't they social distanced from their family members? Um, makes sense, right? And quite frankly, the Capsule and the rocket is nothing new. Nothing new. That's some old. They have Katy Perry in some fake ass studio. I don't really care for her. I don't. I don't care what like who you know. Her sexual preferences, it's her attitude that I don't like. I don't really care for that. It's just her attitude. And she's all sitting there with big tears and stuff, and I'm like, are you serious? rather watch Goats Nation, <laughs> which is on tonight, by the way. Um, so I'm going to spin another bobbin because it looks like I'm out, and I'll be right back. But think about what I just said, SpaceX and all that, no mask, but you're exposing yourself to other people at Cape Canaveral. Yeah. Real quick. I'm going to use, since I ran out of that, this side right here from Fabric Mart. Be back with that. I had to spin that and ran out up here, but got this. 
Okay, now that the flu boo is fixed, right? I did properly fix that foo boo. Um, so yes, yes, it is properly fixed now. I know you can't really tell. There we go. Here's that one, and then there's this one over here. And now that's fixed. And now let me get this front panel stitched onto that side panel and do the shoulder seams. And I will be back. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I had to pause myself, go out there and get my dinner, which is now clean over there. It's actually stuffed clams and Brussels sprouts with a unsalted butter with garlic and balsamic. Ooh, yum. Yum. And it's healthy. So let's get back to this. <laughs> Putting this together. And, um, and like I was saying, I really don't you know, I'll, I'll pause this again in a minute. I really don't see how, like, the Hollywood types. Get William Shatner. Yeah. 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 I can see where he should probably, you know, like, but you know, Star Trek. Um, of course, be a part of this whole venture-ness into space. Katy Perry? No. No, not really. She has nothing to do with our forefront going into the future of space. Unless, of course, she probably did already buy a ticket to ride SpaceX. But, um, anyway, guys, let me get this, these sewn. I'll try it on and we'll be back. And now I'm just going to show you guys this real quick before I finish off the ends here because that does need to be done. Let me move my little heater um, and give you guys a good like kind of overview of how this one looks. It's not too bad. I can see it like I just I have to roll the collar back or maybe make that into a v-neck. I do love v-necks and then put in some pockets. Basically, this dress is done because, like, if I did go like this to put something right here, I think the striping would look a bit funny. But as soon as I go to put in those pockets, this is just going to be a quick and easy summer frock. Um, or do I even want pockets in this? I don't know. We'll decide on that. I am basically going to call this one done. I need to eat. Um, I have to answer a call. Someone tried to call me. <laughs> um, could have been my cardiologist for all I know. But do you see the length on that? Um, this is such an easy put together dress. I'm going to say it's about as easy as the one hour dress, which actually takes more than one hour. But this is really comfortable. Let's say you want that frock around that. And look at that. Isn't that nice? That's nice. These uh, seam lines are really nice. Even on the shoulders. I got them getting even. Let's say if I even wanted to leave the neck like this and a little bit of the, the white showing. It gives it a little extra something to it, you know. And I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I just have to like roll that down and sew it. And along, I probably will. And then it'll just kind of end up like a summer tank dress. If that makes any sense to you. And just like bring the collar back like that. Like so. All the way around. I'm pretty much happy with this. 
and it didn't take that much time. I still have to determine because of where the side panels are if I want a pocket in because normally I would put a pocket here not so far back. So I'll think on that one. Do I really want that on this one? The other one's going to have the kangaroo pocket right here. So now you can kind of imagine like having the kangaroo pocket right here. And now I'm thinking, is that going to make me look like huger? Or is it just going to be sporty? Because that will actually pull this back. So, um, say even if I did take it in on the sides a little with this paneling, I'm not going to be mad at that. So anyway guys, this is my Fabric Mart dress. This is the first one. Remember, all I have to do is this and that and trim the bottom. I left it like this on purpose um, because I, I don't feel all dresses should be like full covers during the summer because it does get hot. Bring it down on the side and wear a pair of shorts with it and you're good. You are good. So anyway, I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because you can even make a fabric mark challenge dress. That's right. And I made it. I made it before the challenge was nearly done. So I got one more to knock out. That. Oh yeah. That one's up next. So look forward to that. Wow, I'm excited for this. Like, if you're not excited, get excited for something. And I will see you guys later.